Hello everybody and thank you very much for joining me for another Tales from the Crypt review. Today I will be talking about Season 2, Episode 12, Fitting Punishment, directed by Jack Shoulder and starring Moses Gunn as Ezra Thorntonberry. And in my opinion, this is a solid, perfectly acceptable episode. Uh, there's nothing really fantastically great about it, but there's nothing uh, bad about it either. It's just a, a good, solid episode. It's a classic Tales from the Crypt story about uh, one person who's not very nice, and uh, they basically get what's coming to them in the end. So we start out at a funeral home, and there is a funeral director there named Ezra. He's our main character, but uh, he doesn't seem too broken up about what's happening uh, here. Not a lot of sympathy for sure, even though he's kind of faking it with... Uh, his customers, as he would call them, and his nephew Bobby is also introduced. It turns out this kid's parents were killed, and uh, his uncle Ezra is basically his only living relative, so he is now going to live with him. Uh, uncle Ezra is not too happy about this, but he figures it's basically free work, so he says he'll basically just uh, give the kid a place to stay, but he won't pay him anything if the kid works for him, so that's our setup. Uh, so the next day he shows uh, Bobby what to do with a body. He shows him how to embalm, but uh, it's notable he's not using the right chemicals. This guy's pretty cheap. He only seems worried about uh, making money. He also uh, slaps Bobby at this point uh, for questioning him on something. This is just not a very nice person at this point. It's also notable we get a scene where Ezra orders these small coffins uh, because he tells Bobby most people won't know the difference and he can charge full price for them. Uh, he's basically then, in the next few scenes, just mean to Bobby. He's also very mean to his organ player, uh, who becomes a part of the story later on. He's just not basically nice to anyone. And the first half of the episode does a nice job of establishing this character as someone we definitely don't want to root for. So um, things uh, come to a head after a while when there is going to be another funeral. And it turns out that uh, the wrong casket is being used. Uncle Ezra blames Bobby for this, who insists that uh, he told Uncle Ezra it was the right uh, casket to use, but Uncle Ezra doesn't want to hear it. Bobby gets blamed, and Uncle Ezra beats him uh, with some kind of cane or stick or something, and it turns out Bobby gets hurt. He hurts his leg and his spine, and he's now paralyzed, and he can't walk again. And uh, I have to say, this Ezra guy is really uh, just completely uh, beyond us as an audience liking him at this point. So Uncle Ezra tries to cover this up. He basically says that uh, the boy Bobby fell down some stairs, which is completely ridiculous. So now Ezra's stuck taking care of Bobby. They argue about Ezra selling Bobby's shoes, basically. Ezra says he got a good price for him. Once again, he's only worried about the money. He doesn't care about people at all. So Ezra comes up with this plan. He basically throws a ball at Bobby, who uh, really does fall at this point, and now he's a goner. But uh, when Uncle Ezra goes to bury him, he puts him in a coffin and his body's too big. So, of course, Uncle Ezra, uh, being too cheap to order another coffin, just cuts Bobby's legs off. No respect, once again, for a person who's passed away. So uh, we then have the funeral and uh, Clyde, the piano player from earlier, he quits because he says that he knows exactly what Uncle Ezra did. But nothing ever comes of this. He just quits and leaves. It would have been nice to give this a side character a little more to do. But it is what it is. It didn't really bother me. Um, so then, basically, uh, Uncle Ezra's by himself. He figures he's better off on his own. But he's soon to have a visitor. And it's Bobby, or at least part of Bobby at first. Uh, Bobby's shoes, basically, now unattached from his body because Uncle Ezra cut them off. Basically pushes Uncle Ezra down the stairs. Now Uncle Ezra is paralyzed. And he can't move as Zombie Bobby, Ghost Bobby, whatever you want to call, uh, whatever you want to call him, comes down the stairs and... Uh, Things don't look good for Uncle Ezra as uh, it appears he is done in by uh, Bobby at this point. Or the ghost of Bobby, however you want to say it. So like I said, nothing really uh, phenomenal or fantastic about this episode. But it's solid. There's nothing bad about it either. The acting is uh, pretty solid overall. And, uh, you know, Moses Gunn does what he can with an unlikable character. It's kind of a tough role to act, but I think he does a good job overall. And I just think it's a solid episode fans should enjoy. And I'm going to give Fitting Punishment a 3 out of 5. So, just a pretty good episode that I recommend watching at least once. So, a 3 out of 5 for Fitting Punishment. And as always, thank you very much for watching.